Hello, welcome to another episode in Illustrator. We've got our image here. This is going to be using every image you see, by the way, it's always going to be using Creative Commons Zero images. I, I sort of go out my way to do that um, because you have to, basically. All right, so we've got this image of a buttercup, and that's all good, right? So we're going to start off by cropping the image. So we can go into the properties, go to crop, and we're going to make sure we just got this centerpiece here. This is what we're looking for. We're going to try and make a pattern out of this thing. Uh, we're just going to do it like that. Okay, and then we can grab this. And then once we get it in the middle, okay, so there's the center, so we'll put it in the center. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to turn it into a pattern. So the way to do that is we go to properties, and we're going to pr press this button called image trace, and we're going to go for black and white logo. There's different ways, different buttons you could press here, I guess. Uh, we're going to try this one for now, though. Uh, and it says boundary refinement. Now, if we go to window and we go to image trace, it gives you a bunch more options as well. So normally you want to go, I think we went to about 80 before, it looked a bit better. Yeah. So it kind of like has an interesting look to that, right? Uh, I'm going to just do it something fairly simple here. Maybe just, I want a, li a little bit of detail, but not like over the top. All right, so I like that, right? So we're going to stick with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to properties and we'll press this button. It says expand. It says convert tracing objects to paths. Okay, so now we've expanded it and we changed it to a path. So this is a, this is a bit like this is essentially converting a raster image into a vector image. If you've ever done that in Flash, depends. I guess it depends how old you are. Um, um, and I'm sure, but but yeah. So essentially, this makes it an editable image now. All right, so we're going to go here now. We're going to go work, select the group selection tool, uh, and we want to just. Okay, and we press delete. We just I just selected a corner of it, and so that's good. We'll leave the the black on the other section here. Uh, let's do view outline. Uh, and so this this gives you an idea of what the actual thing looks like. Okay, that's fine. And then you can go to view GPU preview to get it back. All right, let's do it this color actually. All right, so what we can do is then we'll select our image here. And now we want to turn it into a pattern. So we'll make it super small. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is go object. And we'll go pattern and we'll go make. And it says the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. Any changes made while in pattern editing mode will be applied to the swatch point exit. All right, so if we look at, anyway, so we look at the pattern options. You can see there's lots of different things you can do. Do grid, do brick by row by column. This actually worked. This actually worked pretty good now I think about it. I wasn't actually sure it was going to work. But you see you can get some like interesting patterns with it. But I can still see the uh, like a weird bounding box of it. It looks like it works better though when you do a one by one. Yeah I mean that's what I would expect to happen like this right. Okay so I'm going to stick to one by one here and I'm not going to do hex by column. I'm going to do just brick by row. Uh, what do we exit the pattern editing mode? Is there a way to save it or something? That's what I'm thinking. Save a copy. I don't know if I'm actually getting to save it. Here we go. Didn't get that before. Alright, so if I leave pattern editing mode, do done. I'm out of it, but can I access it still? What is that? Yeah, okay. Yes, that's what we want. Um, so I still have access to, well, this is this is such a messy episode. I am sorry for this. Um, but as you can see now, we're outside of the, um, yeah, perfect. So now we have our swatch of our buttercup. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look like, yeah, you can't actually change it at this point, right? So those settings that I made when I did one by one and brick by row, uh, I can't change it anymore. So when you're in that pad, you saw like on this bit, that was when I was in, in that menu. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. 
uh, sorry I haven't been that clear. I am learning this at this point, so it's going to be a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a uh, rough ride, I would say, uh, next few episodes. But I hope you enjoy anyway. Thanks for watching.